Hello YouTube. Today I'm doing a quick little video review about three of the bug themed Mighty Max sets that I own. So here they are, and they are the Fly, the Scorpion, and the Spider set. They are all Doom Zone sets, so they are the bigger play sets that came in this line and I will review them individually. So let's start with Mighty Max Swatch the Fly uh, playset. As you can see, it's a pretty nice looking fly here. The legs are made out of rubber, so they, they don't break off easily. It's a good idea. They are quite flexible. The wings are also made out of rubber, this harder rubber, and, and they are also movable. On the back you can see the Mighty Max logo, and this part, this green part, is kind of like a fly. It's, it's shiny, it's, uh, it's got a nice, a really nice color, and it really makes it look like a, like a shiny, colorful fly. The eyes are made out of this little bit transparent red uh, plastic and basically that's it. That's the fly playset. And that's about it for the outside of the fly playset. And let's open this up. So to open it up we just lift it here and lift this part up here. You can see the place for Max to stand is in the middle, which is quite nice because inside there's this spider web kind of thing which is hollow in the middle, so it can close nicely on Max. As you open it up, you can remove this fly figure which builds the wings for the for the closed up figure. I really like it. This is I think this is one of the biggest Mighty Max foe, foes that I have ever seen in a in a Doom Zone play set. It's got a vicious looking green bug eyes and the movable wings. It's really nice, I really like it. Other than the big fly, we have this really cool thing that builds the legs for the big figure, but here it's kind of like a little walker for Max. And this set also comes with another foe. I for unfortunately, I don't have that one. Uh, it's another purple colored bug kind of monster but but since I bought these these sets mostly well usually I buy these sets used from eBay and sometimes I just can't get a whole complete set for the right price but nevertheless the set is still really cool and the, I will show the little bits and pieces too so inside there's this it's like a spider web I don't know. It comes with a fly that sits here. So I don't think it's supposed to be a spider web, but it sure looks like one. What I really like is that face that face there in, on the inside. It's like it's like one of the it's like a big hive and and there's also like a hand down there. So it's like the fly is just taking people and and uh, leaving them rot in the in this kind of a web or something like that and and maybe maybe he uses them later or maybe he just puts eggs inside them or the, or some other creepy stuff. Down there you can see something like a control panel. It's quite mechanic. Um it's weird because this part is so organic but yeah I like it 
that's just a sticker down there and the cool part is if you turn it around you can see all these monitors up there uh, I'm pretty sure these are monitors and uh, it's really cool because if you think about it a fly or I mean a real fly has lots of little pieces in his eye I mean lots of little eyes and it's really cool that they made it like look like a all of those eyes could record something and so here are the cameras here are the monitors that you can watch the recordings on in the front you can lift this thing up and then you can open the eyes it's quite difficult to do with one hand but I will try so you can open this up like that and have this one here other here and well that's that's the set opened up completely I always think of this set as, as something like a huge fly shape spaceship or something like that that comes here and kidnaps people and uses them as 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 something to lay their eggs in it for the aliens or something like that and Max is just the hero who saves the day from this horrible horrible bug spaceship um, this is the walker it's basically the legs for the fly but they build this kind of mechanic looking walker here this part looks to me like some kind of weird microphone this looks like a gun you can see the control panel there and uh, that's the max figure that comes with it I'm not really sure if it really comes with it or, or just my used playset came with this one but I don't think that really matters a lot let's just see let's just take another look at the the bug monster it is also made out of this rubbery softer rubber so it's it's not breaking easily and it's really nicely detailed look at these wings they are all little tiny bug veins inside or something like that it's really nice so here you can see the outside of the scorpion playset in this in its closed form where well, the tail is movable and it can also be stuck right here into, the, into this little hole on top and the legs are also made out of this rubbery plastic like like in the like at the fly but the claws here they are not they are harder plastic You can see the Mighty Max logo on top, the vicious eyes of the scorpion, and the Bluebird logo on the bottom. It's interesting to note that this scorpion is also looking a bit like a mechanized scorpion, like the fly did. So it's also something like a machine rather than an actual giant bug. So let's see how it opens up. First you open this part and then you open the shell here at the end. You have to be careful with these clothes. You have to open them first and then turn this around and turn this out. So this basically looks like it's a battle station or something like that you can place the figures here or here and there's this cannon and, and the movable clothes so that's how it looks like on the inside you can also find like in the case of the fly this little walker for Max which is a scorpion by itself but it's also a mechanized scorpion 
And that's it. Uh, this set also comes with another red monster that I don't have, unfortunately. So this set of mine is also incomplete. Um, to tell you the truth, this is not one of my favorite sets at all, because I think when you open it up like that, it's rather boring. It, it doesn't have as many functions, although it opens in a cool and different way, and this battle station, this gun, and these movable clothes look really cool. Also, this, this huge walker is really cool, but other than that, I, I really think it's, it's not that special. And I think there are m way better playsets than this out, but, but it's also cool. I like it in the closed form, when it's a scorp when it forms a scorpion, but opened up it's just a little bit boring for me. The inside is similar to the fly playset. It's also stickers and it also looks like a mechanized bug or some biomechanism. You have radioactivity signs. Here you have these wi wires and the cannon. There's a place for Max to stand here. Also there's a gear here, which if you move it, then moves the arms. But, well, this function is not so great, I guess, because you can just easily do it with your finger. And so, the walker is also this mechanized bug kind of thing with radioactivity signs it's also made out of this rubbery plastic this part up here is also rubber so you don't have to be afraid to break it this is the max figure I got with it it's a little bit worn um, and I'm also not sure if this is the right max figure that belongs to this playset but I'm just happy to have a Max figure with it, and so not really my favorite set, but nevertheless, it is also a really cool bug themed playset from Mighty Max. And last but not least, here you have the big spider playset. I really like this playset for the reason, or all of these playsets for the reason that. They are representing something whole, a whole bug that you can play with. It's not just a head or not just a hand like some of the other sets in this uh, toy line. And I think it's really nice. So this is the big spider. Or here you can see all his eyes. The legs are also rubbery, so they won't bro break down. The Bluebird logo. It opens at the front. And as you open it, uh, you find a smaller spider inside. Well, in this case, this is not a robotic spider. There's no such thing as any mechanics on it. It's just a spider. It has a place for Max to stand. So you can easily put him on. It stays on quite well. And he can ride the spider. The inside of the playset is set up like uh, some kind of laboratory for some evil scientist or something like that. The set comes with another small figure, the spider monster. As you can see, this is a four-armed monster with big green bug eyes, and it looks quite menacing. But it's made out of rubber, and I think that's unique. I don't really know many Mighty Max foes that are made out of this softer rubber. I don't know why they did this, but it certainly has, because these limbs would 
break off easily and now it's it's more safe like that. The inside of the playset has this kind of little machine and you can turn it around and as you can see there's a place for Max to stand and there's a place for the monsters to sta monster to stand so what does this tell us? so I think this machine is something uh, like the one we saw in the 80s movie The Fly as in, as in some kind of teleporter or something like that and whoops when he teleports he accidentally turns into a monster into this spider monster so that's kind of the main feature of this place uh, that you can turn this around and have Max on one side and have the monster on the other now as the monster is made out of rubber it 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 barely stands in the stand because it's it's too soft as you can see Max stands quite well and yeah I, I am having difficulties placing this monster into this little two holes because he just won't stay in. His feet are too soft and they don't stay inside. But other than that, it, this feature works quite well and gives you fun play options. The back, you can see some electrodes almost like a spine or something like that, tubes in the inside of the spider here down it's also almost like a spider web or something like that and the inside is shaped like a dungeon or something with blood splatters arms and another feature that this playset has is the net. So Max can be trapped inside the net. You can put it on and as the big spider is hollow inside, he can sit on the net like a spider on his on his eggs. So my conclusion is that these playsets are great fun perfect for boys who like insects and sci-fi and have a great mind for fantasy and making up stories with these little guys so I would definitely recommend you to pick them up because they are fun toys they are really well done nice toys so this was my review of these three insect play sets from Mighty Max, I hope you enjoyed it and I will make some more soon. Bye bye.